All right, so uh, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at this Xiaomi. Everything they do is called Mijia, so for some reason. Um, basically, this is an automatic soap dispenser, right? And it, uh, it was a gift for a friend. And uh, he used it for about a year, I think, roundabout. And then it started to stop working, right? And so when I was over at his place, I just opened it up and checked the batteries. And they all had a somewhat thin but very consistent layer of corrosion on their, uh, on their tabs, right? And uh, it's been leaking through some of these, right? Not a lot, not a lot, mind you. But uh, I don't know if... So anyway, the, the problem is it was corroding the cells to the point where it would not make contact, right? This draws quite a bit of power when it's activating the pump. And so anyway, uh, I decided to, um, to take it out of his possession and have it be fixed. And maybe I'll send it back, who knows. Um, and so yeah, so I've seen an exploded view of this on, uh, on AliExpress actually. So I'll just put this up right here. And judging on that, it seems we need to take the top cover off. And so for that, I'm going to go for some uh, prying tools. And see what I have. Right. Yeah, so I bought this kit of about three of these. So these are pretty shit metal, but um, they seem to work fine. And so basically this seems to be clipped in, but I don't know, this kind of design is quite, uh, quite antisocial because there's, an, it's extremely hard not to leave a mark. All right, so let me, oh man, this is really tight. Which is usually good, but you just try and squeeze it. There's absolutely no bite, right? Xiaomi does very nice things. Right, I have these screwdriver sets from them and a bunch of other projects, uh, products. I have this, uh, this boogie board style product with the, on which you can write on. The question is, do we go medieval? Because there's really no, this seems to be all in one piece, right? Beautiful molding, mind you. We go with the blade. We could go with the blade. See what that does. Damn it. So I managed to impale a blade in there. I don't know, I think we just keep trying at the top. Right, I do have my mom on speed dial, so... This Christ already looks like shit. God damn it. Also on a note, on a, on a tangent, they'll be sending this empty with no batteries if you don't live in Russia, apparently, or China. Uh, just don't worry, just unclip this. Right? It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but you can do it, fill it with water, so you get to go. I also was a bit perplexed why it came empty, but it's a shipping thing, so it's not their fault, I suppose. That's, I'm really fucking this place up in particular. And I don't know if I'm getting anywhere. I don't think it's... Damn. No one died. So, right, excluding the initial incision point, the rest seems to be going reasonably well, I would, um, I would dare say. Seems to be just popping off. you this this will not open by itself this cover will not pop off accidentally and 
that is for sure. Very nice that everything is, again, this is just like quality shit from Xiaomi. I, I do very much appreciate the company and um, this only goes to further my appreciation. Please note how everything is in sockets and um, I'll do my best to remember which way these came in, but shouldn't be too bad. Right, so they could have just soldered everything in and be done with it, but no, no. They went with sockets. So this even has a bit of soap on it. And yeah, nice, good quality board. They have a capacitive button here with an LED that uh, will flash when the battery is uh, depleted or when the thing is, um, is, is locked, right? Because you can also lock it if you want to move it around. And right, the pump is is on the bottom, so maybe there. Like I'll just simply reopen it and put it back in. If I'll find something that's particularly of note, I'll uh, I'll continue the video. But so far, there's not a lot going on. To be honest, there's nothing visible. And yeah, I'll try and. Now what you can do with these plastics is you can actually take a harder plastic and uh, just uh, bend it back into shape, right, this ABS plastic, so kind of like this, right, or even the edge of the screwdriver. And you regain some of the style points you've, uh, you've lost by going all medieval on it. I mean, to be honest, uh, if anyone knows a better way of doing shit like this, let me know, but uh, I been doing this kind of crap for going on for 15 years and I don't know of any better way. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Board shouldn't have much on the other side. Let's actually take a quick look at it while we're here. I know I'm always super sad when people don't take off the boards, right? Dave does this quite a lot. He's like, ah, oh, there's nothing interesting on the other side. I don't know, I, I still want to see it. Like, I, I don't give a shit if it's an LED and that's it. I want to see it. Yup. So there's the capacitive sensor and a three color LED with four pins, actually. Very nice. And yeah, very nice markings, actually. Pretty cool. All right. And just some other nice little touches, right? This um, sensor board is all nicely labeled with receive and, and transmit. Uh, they have plus and minus on the molding again, right? Just nice spade connectors right over here. I uh, just, just, this thing is put together really nicely. It's a damn shame that it's leaking, but that could be sorted out, no problem. So there was a lot of residue on this uh, interconnect plate. I've already cleaned part of it. And um, and these had some, some crap on it, so also feel free to clean those. You can see where the, where the soap had leaked. So this had a problem for quite a while and then at some point it started seeping through. But yeah. Right, so I actually whipped out the scope. Um, this did take quite quite a while. Um, basically what happens is it will stop working after half a day or so. And so basically what, uh, what the problem was, um, was the contacts are still, and the contacts still aren't, aren't that great. So it's actually a very big issue. If, if these start corroding, it seems to be a very big issue getting proper contact from the, the four cells, right, throughout the four cells. And what would happen is it would die as, as soon as you'd bring your hand in, and you'd have to reset it, and then it would, again, just die, right? Maybe we can see that on the scope after I put it back together. But anyway, so I fixed that by basically, I fixed, I circumvented that by actually powering it externally from my uh, bench power supply, and then another issue cropped up, and that was the sensor was constantly thinking that the a hand was there, right? So it was constantly 
um, you're seeing contact basically and uh, I've tried to hot snot it in place actually maybe a previous clip does not even go over that but actually the solution has to be different uh, there's this plastic mold plastic uh, molded piece rubber molded piece it's tragic with the words today anyway so that one actually goes in there but you actually want to take it out and pop it on the the LEDs and that is the only way this will work I don't think the orientation works as far as the light is concerned but um, yeah it does have to go in this way and when it is like this it does actually work right so let's um, let's see that in action it's turned on and you can see it's it's sending pulses uh, these are 600 microsecond pulses that are sent every 240 milliseconds I think so let's go to what the hell all right so they're every 230 milliseconds to 20 let's say and um, the pulses are let's bring one into shot pulses are Yeah, 600 microseconds long and uh, yeah so basically it's, let's have this going turn the cursors off lengthen the time base and yeah, this looks kind of nice and yeah basically now it works right you bring your hand in and for the duration of um, for the pump duration it does actually turn the turn the strobing off and yeah so basically now I'll glue that to this uh, tiny daughter board and um, try to like screw back together with it being into close proximity right you really don't want any leakage and I'll see what I can do about the contacts but yeah that's an open-ended thing right because it works for half a day a day and then it stops working so We'll see how that progresses and maybe I'll be able to upload this video because it's been literally a month by now. Alright, so this is my absolute last attempt at this. I've uh, narrowed down the problem, one of the problems, to uh, this reflector. This, uh, I mean, this is more or less a protection piece to not let crap and debris get in here but I think it was causing some sort of weird reflection inside and it was constantly seeing a finger, right, a hand. And so I've gone ahead and removed that and the touch screen used to work weirdly, but now it's fine. Like, I don't know, this, as I said, like is, is by now behaving quite erratically. So in this shape, right, I will pop it back together, but I still have the, um, the main voltage cables uh, broken out so I'll pop this back together I mean thus far see it it just does this Jesus Christ man this is extremely finicky it was working half a second ago anyway so I've done another mod so I've drilled some holes here which should have been here in the first place right prevent water from accumulating and the solder blobs on the connectors to make sure the batteries are really pressed in and making good contact. This barely rotates now, but it does go in place. And again, this, this will eventually wake up. Like, I, don't, I really don't know what is going on now, but you saw it work and it'll start working. And if it'll keep staying in the working state then i'm going to keep it in use otherwise i'm just going to part it out the pump is pretty nice or maybe even uh create my own little controller for it because it's not super hard right you just basically have to look at this which technically is fine and yeah i don't know bit of a shame probably buy another one but yeah that's been it